Your operating profits were up 10% last year. Have all your key European markets come back from the terrorist incidents of 16 and 17? Everybody did. I guess UK has been still very strong. France has been rebounding very nicely. Uh, Portugal, Spain, very strong. Germany is still there. So it's pretty rosy. Amsterdam, very strong. Uh, Asia Pacific, very strong. The only two places in which we had weaknesses, GCC, the Gulf, and Brazil. Right. Why was that, do you think? Well, Brazil, you, <laughs> Just you see, you know, because what's yeah. happening yeah. in between different geopolitical issues. Yeah. And Brazil, funny enough, Brazil is very strong in Sao Paulo and weak in Rio, but it's, they're getting back on their feet pretty strongly. I guess you had the Olympics in 2016, so there's a year-on-year -year comparison. Every year we have something good coming to us. It's a blessed industry. You just have, which is why Airbnb booking with the Elsos is attacking, because it's sizable, profitable, growing industry, demand outpacing supply by twice. So no question, it interests everybody including myself. Now, the Euro, Euro has been on an absolute tear over the last year, particularly against the US dollar, which yeah. is significant because a lot of consumers from emerging markets reference the dollar. Has that impacted on travel from the likes of China and India? No, you know, at the end of the day for us, we have a local hedging. So everything we do is local economy currency based and every cost is also local economy currency based. So I guess we don't, we benefit like the pounds of Brexit, uncertainty. We've never had so much growth in UK because international travellers want to benefit from the lower pounds. UK guys stay and stakeholders basically stay in UK because they can't afford going elsewhere. So it's, it's a very interesting thing. Forex doesn't really have any impact on our hotel growth and profitability. Very, you, yeah. very low. Now you're one of the big hotel operators to so first start thinking about how you take on the likes of Airbnb. Do, do you think you're winning that battle? You've got to learn to live with them, I guess. Well, I guess first I have a lot of admiration for anybody around me. Uh, so they are getting stronger, bigger, more profitable, uh, more visible. But I guess I was extremely worried a couple of years ago. Uh, they've been actually flattening out in terms of growth. Regulation happened, so they don't really know where they sit. Uh, and so I, I'm just accustomed to it. And if anything, I have to be minded is what do they do for their guests that they love so much? Because they are growing. Uh, and the guests, what they love so much about it, it is cheaper, it is uh, spacier, and it's more fun. So I just need to make my hotels a bit cheaper, a bit more spacier and more fun. And you know what? We can do it. The trouble is, though, you've got to be really on your game at all times in an age of online rating apps. I mean, if people don't like your product and, or service, they'll put it out on the internet right good. there. Which is good. You have to be client-minded, no longer product-minded. You have to get your eyes wide open. You need to get all the financial resources with you. You need to be agile. You need to be on the move. You need to watch your ecosystem. And we're going to need to partner with some of them. Uh, and it's a fascinating world. But ACO is a leader any place on the planet but China and America. So if they were to partner with somebody, I may be the partners of choice. Oh, now, you're a well-connected man. Nicolas Sarkozy is on your board. I know you yes. know... President Macron very well. Is he the real deal? I mean, there's expectations really high for what he's going to, going to achieve for France. Is he going to live up to them? Answer is yes, yes, yes. He is he's a remarkable person. He has a mandate. He didn't hide anything before he got elected. People know what he wants to accomplish. He's extremely strong-minded. He's audacious. He's lucky. Uh, he has great vision. He is charming. Uh, so which means, and he's being, you should have probably seen it, what he said today uh, on the podium. He said, you know, guys, I'm not here to be liked. Uh, I'm not here to please anybody. I'm here to act. So he has a plan. He has a team. He has a calendar. And he wants to leave something behind. Right age, right person, multicultural. Yeah, I think he's going to do it. He's going to surprise everybody. And hopefully he's going to stay for a long time. All right. Briefly, Sebastian, what about the UK? Are you still committed to the UK post-Brexit? Well, I've been hearing any private companies saying, am I going to stay? Am I going to exit? Let me tell you something. For as far as travel leisure industry, Arco is not only staying here, but Arco is going to be growing in the UK, creating jobs, opening new hotels. This is a fabulous country. You have absolutely everything. It's a great place to visit, great place to enjoy food and many other things. So, no, ACO is growing, committed to the UK. Uh, and you know what? We never left any country in the times of turmoil. So if you want to be back in countries, be there when they need you the most. So we're here.